What's up everybody, welcome to part two. In the last video, we cut a hole through this airplane window so that we could see the layers beneath. In this video, we're gonna continue on with the progress of making this image right here. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to create this reveal effect that I'm doing on the screen. So in this video, we're gonna be focusing on these balloons. And the first thing that we see is, well, they're way too big. We need to reduce their size and move them around. And that is this tool right here. It's called the transform tool and it allows us to move layers around and transform them. We can do all sorts of things with uniform transformation that just keeps the aspect ratio the same. We can also do distort and that does this sort of thing. So you can kind of make things look like they're coming from the distance. We can also use warp and that just treats the layer like cloth and you can just bend it to your will. Uh, that's not what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be focusing on just moving the layer a little bit and resizing it. So click on uniform and tap on these dots right there. And then we're just going to tap anywhere inside the layer to move it around. Once we have a nice placement, we are good to go. Now we can just tap on the transform tool again to deactivate it. So now we have the balloons in the right place and the right size. Now this layer beneath is a little bit distracting, so I'm going to hide it just for now. So to do that, we tap on this little checkbox in the layers menu and that just hides the layer. It's still gonna be there, we can retrieve it later. It's just gonna be hidden. And now we see the scene start to take shape. Pretty cool. So we're definitely on the right track. But you see the balloon layer, it has a background of its own. Now we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna remove this background from there. And that's gonna be a little bit tricky, especially with the freehand selection. So this gives us the opportunity to talk about the automatic selection tool. To use that, simply tap to select an area and then tap and hold to invoke a selection threshold. What you can do is you can drag your finger to the left or right to adjust the threshold of the selection. And what I'm doing right here is I'm adding to the selection. So I make a selection and then I adjust it. I add another selection, I adjust it so that it's only selecting the background. Then I tap to add more areas until I have the entire background selected. Now this can take a while depending on how complex the image is, but here we can get a pretty decent selection of the background. And then it's just a matter of doing a similar thing as we did in the last video. We're just going to tap mask, then we're going to tap on the mask again and do invert. So we invert the selection and now we have removed the background. There's still some issues, like uh, you see this line, this white line on the background there. That's super simple to take care of. We simply select the mask itself and then choose a completely black color. Because remember, black hides. Black hides white shows. And we're going to just select a nice brush, just use a medium airbrush. And then we're just going to draw on the line. And if nothing's happening, or if it's way too big, the brush size, well, you can adjust the size of it right there. A pro tip, if you find it a little bit difficult to get the exact brush size that you need, well, you can just drag your finger to the right. And the further away that you are from the slider, the more fine-tuned the controls become. And the closer you are, the more sensitive it is. So with the right brush size selected, we can now just draw over this white line and get rid of it. So now we're left with a very short band on these balloons. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna actually extend this band down. And to do that, we're gonna use the liquefying tool. Now the liquefying tool basically treats these layers like liquid. So we can twirl things around, we can expand them, we can drag them, push them. And we're gonna use push and make sure the pressure is all the way there. And these settings are like so, and then choose a small brush size and then we're just gonna drag these pixels down and there we go no need to draw anything we just pulled these pixels down to make a band i'm just gonna add a little bit of a variation to it like so add a bit of a kink into the line and then to erase i'm gonna use reconstruct and that 
is that. So now we have extended the band down. So the girl that we're gonna add next can hold this band. All right, let's bring back this layer right here with the girl on it. I'll just tap on this little check mark and now we see this layer. Now before we resize it, I want to mask it out. So I'm just gonna focus on this layer and to do that, I tap and hold on the checkbox and that focuses only on that layer. And with this layer focused, we're now gonna do something a little bit different. Instead of using the selection tool to make a mask around this object, we're actually gonna create the mask first. And then we're gonna draw with black, because remember, black hides. And then we're gonna use a brush to erase. And if nothing happens, always remember to check if the layer mask is enabled. And now we can basically draw on the layer mask to erase from this layer. So now we're essentially removing the background by drawing on the mask. So we can use any brush that we want and it will remove whatever we want from this layer. And this is perhaps the most time consuming process because you need to go in and actually draw around every single curve of this subject. So cue the time lapse. And the reason why masks are so powerful is because if you make a mistake like I just did right here, it's very, very easy to fix. What you do is instead of painting with black, you paint with white. And if you paint with white, you retrieve whatever information that you chose to hide while painting with the black on the mask. Because remember, black hides, white shows. Okay, so now we've finished painting a mask around the outlines of this girl. And now we just need to fill in the rest. So we can do that by simply drawing it in or we can use the color drop functionality. And that's simply done by doing this. You just drag the color drop into the area and then you adjust the threshold like we did with the automatic selection tool. So we just tap and drag it over and then it fills it in. Now there are some artifacts around the edges that we can just clean up, but I think this is pretty, pretty good for what we need. So now that we've removed the background, let's now reposition this woman so that it looks like she's holding on to the balloons. So we're just gonna use the transform tool here to put it into place. I think this is pretty good here. So now we see we need to move these balloons a little bit up. So just gonna use the transform tool, select the layer first and then adjust it like so. There's a little bit of artifact that we need to take care of. So using black, we're just gonna paint on the mask to remove that. Now let's fit the band or the string so that it looks like the woman is holding it. So with the balloon layer selected, we're just gonna head over to liquify and then just push these pixels a little bit around so that it looks a little bit better. Now I'm gonna call it here for this part of the tutorial. Stay tuned for part three, where we're gonna go into color adjustment. So we're gonna make this character look like it belongs to this environment. Cause right now you see that C is very yellow, like the clothes, there's a tint of yellow to everything. So we're gonna take care of that in the next video. We're also gonna talk about how to create the reveal effect that you see right here. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.